Head over keels. Actual naval stories. Smart Lieutenant. The fierce German battleship Tirpitz, supposedly hunted for convoy PQ-17. This information remained unconfirmed, but nevertheless, British cruisers were given the order to turn around, leaving the merchant ships defenseless. July 4, 1942, convoy PQ-17 was scattered across the Barent Sea and had a slim chance of getting to Alkhangelsk safely. German U-boats scoured the sea. The sky was full of enemy aircraft. A British trawler, HMS Ayrshire, together with three transport ships, loaded with military supplies for the Red Army, sailed north. Leo Gradwell, Royal Navy Lieutenant, assumed command of this small convoy. Gradwell was an advocate by trade, but having a coastal navigation certificate, he enlisted in the Navy with the outbreak of war. He understood clearly that any encounter with the enemy would end tragically for his mini-convoy. Gradwell had to think of something. Standing on the bridge of the ice-covered Ayrshire, the lieutenant ordered the crew of the transport carrying tanks on the deck to place their cargo in operational readiness. Bristling with guns, the merchant became a warship ready to repel the enemy. However, tank guns couldn't deal with German bomber planes, for which the four ships of the mini-convoy in the middle of the frozen ocean were an easy target. Then, having discovered drums of white paint in the cargo hold, Gradwell decided to repaint the ships. But there wasn't enough paint, so the decks and combat vehicles were covered with white linen taken from laundry. Luftwaffe planes flying over the ice were unable to find the camouflaged convoy. Under the cover of rising fog, Gradwell's ships were able to sneak undetected towards Novaya Zimlia. When Gradwell saw the Soviet flag in the distance, he knew that they were safe. Of the 35 transport ships of convoy PQ-17, only 11 made it to Arkhangelsk, and three of them have the smart decisions made by Lieutenant Leo Gradwell to thank for that.